And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. A budget crisis, the likes of which Nevada has never seen before. Nevada lawmakers are being called to the state capitol right now to figure out how to cut the budget to the bone. The 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels is in Carson City now with the latest. Now we made to the steps here at the state capitol where in just hours lawmakers will try to come up with a way to cut $1.2 billion or more. That's about 25% of the yearly budget. Lawmakers and the governor say every agency, every sector of the state's government is facing cuts. Hundreds of millions expected to be slashed from education and health and social services amid this pandemic that is still raging. More than $500 million or more could be cut from state agencies and public safety. The governor has already already proposed a plan which includes furlough days for state employees, but all the cuts might not be enough. There's a painful reality and talk among state legislators about raising existing taxes. None of us want to raise taxes, but sometimes we do have to look at what what kind of revenue could we bring in that's not going to hurt our families and our vulnerable citizens in the state of Nevada. We'll have a large appropriation to the state, to the counties, and to the small municipalities that they can use to keep first responders on the payroll and teachers, uh, as well as use that revenue as they see fit to make up the whole. Congresswoman Dina Titus there describing the HEROES Act, a massive spending package and bailout from the federal government. It passed the House weeks ago, but it stalled in the Senate and not going anywhere at the moment. The governor is pleading for that federal assistance, but not counting on it. The Nevada legislature is set to convene at 9 a.m. We'll be following all the details for you. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Well, Clark County will now be operating four days a week because of a budget shortfall. Offices will now be open on Monday through Thursday from 730 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Well, many employees will also be moving now to a 38-hour work week, which means that their pay will be cut as well.